Children are more vulnerable than adults, especially in a disaster setting. They have different anatomical and physiological and developmental needs. So we really wanted to evaluate that during our hazmat processes. We decided to do a pediatric decontamination exercise. Decontaminating a two-month-old child is completely different than decontaminating a 30-year-old adult. They're scared, they don't understand what you're telling them. So it's good to actually practice with who's going to go through the process. We try to make it fun for the children so that they're not scared by it. We let them play with squirt guns so that they get used to the water. We have the people in the hazmat suits out ahead of time so the kids kind of get used to it ahead of time. We've also found that it's best to decontaminate family members together. It's not very common to actually have children participate in disaster drills. So we not only get um, feedback from those who are participating in the drill, but we get feedbacks from the families and the children themselves. So that really makes Good Shepherd unique. And we've learned a lot, and we've actually shared those lessons within our region and within our state. We're much more prepared for a disaster than we were three years ago. We've changed things, we've changed equipment, changed our process, and so I think it's a huge benefit to the community that we do these every year.